show you a, a full interview with Gerwin Williams. He's the director of Southwestern Energy Limited. He's been speaking to your politics reporter, James Craig, and began by telling James just how long it could be before any test drilling takes place in Somerset. We've had the licences come up to a year and we've done a very reasonable amount of work in that year. We've got other work to do as well in other areas. Uh, we need to spend at least another year, I think, on desktop studies. We will then need to go through the permitting process, which means gaining planning permission and all the environmental permissions we'll need before we can drill. We need land rights, obviously, we need to come to an agreement with a landowner. That's going to take over a year, so we're likely to be two years, I would say, from now, just over, before we are looking at drilling an exploration well. In terms of your own background, your experience, what makes you the right person, if you like, to do this job? What makes you capable of, of going ahead and going through this these first phases, let alone actually drilling in Somerset? Well, I think we've got more experience than most in the UK. We've been in this business over 20 years in South Wales. Uh, we've done a lot of modelling. We've spent seven years building our first model. We've built six exploration wells. We've spent two years constructing a, a 3D, very complex model of, of the South Wales area. From that experience, you know, the geology of Somerset and South Wales is not much different. It's only the Brit Bristol Channel in between, so I guess we've got good experience over the area to do that because of the work we've done already. Do you have any examples of either wells or sites where you have successfully been able to do what you were looking to do, where you have been able to either produce or actually bring out the gas that you were hoping was there? We haven't got production, we've drilled a production well and we've got planning permission to put that first production well into production by generating electricity and we've got a second site with three production wells permitted in terms of planning permission and a, a second generating station to go in. So we're in that process at the moment. Four out of five of the exploration wells we drilled were successful, one was not successful. So we're on, that's the, the, the time period we're in in South Wales now, if you like, then we're going in from exploration into production. And in financial terms, it is an expensive business, isn't it, even to investigate this area. Yes. Can you give our listeners an idea of how much it could cost to drill a well, for example? We've been out to a number of contractors and from the wells we've drilled already, we've found, which goes against the, the industry in general, I think, that it is better to own our own drilling rig and to bring in experienced drillers to be in control of our own drilling process in the future. Drilling exploration well is going to cost around £400,000. And is that something that you are able to fund? Because these are huge amounts of money. Are you, are you a serious proposition in that sense? Well, if we couldn't do it, we wouldn't have the licences because one of the tests we had to prove or pass with the government before they issued the licence with financial capability. So that answers itself, I think. There are some people in Somerset who are fiercely opposed to even the idea of exploration work going on for oil and gas, let alone any potential fracking or drilling down the line. What would you say to those people? How can you answer their concerns? Well, firstly, the industry is proved to be safe. By the time we are ready to do anything, other bigger companies will have drilled in the north of England and there will be far, far more information available. So that, that I think that that's a position in terms of fracking itself, if we ever do frack in Somerset. As far as the people that are objecting are concerned, I think they need to take a broader view. I mean, we're not saying that hydrocarbon production, oil or gas is the be all and end all for energy security in the future of the UK. But what we would say is that if you look at wind, if you look at solar and if you look at tidal, none of those can ever be a base producer. Now, if the wind doesn't blow in the night, and the tide is in a slack period, then we're not going to have any generation from the renewables at all. So we need to look after ourselves. You know, we're coming out of Europe. We don't want to be importing energy gas from the Middle East. We don't want to rely on Russian imports. You know, we have to be self-sufficient. We've got the gas here, and we need to look after ourselves by exploiting that gas, generating electricity, being secure as a nation in terms of energy. Been talking about this on breakfast this morning, potentially seeing fracking in Somerset. That's Gerwin Williams, the director of Southwestern Energy Limited, speaking to your politics reporter, James Craig. His company holds all of the licenses to explore 
for oil and gas underneath the ground in Somerset. We'll uh, keep in contact with Gerwin, and if anything develops, of course, we will let you know. It's 8.40. Good morning.